Hello and welcome back to Advanced Concepts 2. This is Wraithwings and we are... I'm not going to get that notification because we've already got it from the last time we stepped into this room. Anyway, this is Advanced Puzzles. Challenging Implementation Rooms. I'm sorry. Challenging Implementation Rooms. We have... Oh, we have a scroll probably explaining something because this was before challenges were a thing, which is some small comfort, I suppose. Wraithwings might be afraid of Beethro, but they don't seem to mind the guard here. Yeah, well, the guard's not trying to kill them. He'll just kill them accidentally. Luckily for you, he has a sword to contribute to your cause. Unluckily, his goal is to kill you with it and not stab the Wraithwings. Yeah. So we have to use the guard to kill the Wraithwings. That's not going to be too hard, honestly. There's one, um, and we need to, uh, we're not going to be able to get around this guy, are we? We get around the Wraith Wing, I mean. We're going to have to, yeah, we're just going to have to get around the, get around the guard, and... Hmm. Well, this is a problem. Am I ever going to gain enough ground for this? I think we're just going in circles, aren't we? Yeah. So killing the first one was really easy, because okay, so new new idea. We let the wraith wings get close to us. Uh, we let them. We let there be two wraith wings, so that we'll have an easier time of things. That count as an easier time of things? I think this Wraith Wing's in the wrong spot. I guess we could do this kind of thing. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Trying to do the guard dance where. Yeah, we do something like that. Okay. There we go. Uh... There we go. Okay. That ended up being harder than I was expecting. Didn't give that room quite enough credit. Also, didn't really talk about what I was trying to accomplish as I was doing that. I really should try to actually do the speaking part of the LP instead of just the, the playing part, but I guess. Uh, okay, so what's going on here? We have five Wraith Wings. We have an evil eye that's on a pressure plate for some reason. The way this is set up... If you wake up, you will block this, and so I need to, I need to get all five Wraith Wings here, I think that's what I'm seeing, two, three, four, five, yep. Okay. Um. Hmm. Is 
Is this the way I want to be going? Maybe not. Maybe I wanted to push a Wraithwing up here. And then... Well... If I have a Wraithwing up here... Okay, like, let's look at this guy. Can I wake him up? No, because even if I run back here to put him back onto the plate, the Wraith Wings won't be staying here. They'll be coming towards me at that point. This is deliberately more than five tiles between B Throw and Wraith Wing here. So that's not going to work. So how do I get multiple Wraith Wing? I guess I need all of them in this segment, this section here, and then I take this path through here. Does anything close that? This does. Interesting. Hmm. So I need all five Wraith Wing to be on this section of the wall. And then when I go here and come up, they should sort themselves into something that'll work, and then vertical preference should slot them into position. Uh, assuming... Well, I mean, if we have five like this... And I step up here... One, two, three... Four... Five. That's not gonna work. Alright. Maybe if I just have a mess of Wraith Wings here, they'll work out into a way that works for my... Works out for me in the end, maybe. Yeah, okay, so let's change our initial approach here. The thing is... Yeah, despite... Despite having been told... How Wraith Wings work. I'm not going to be calculating it, I'm just going to be guessing most of the time. But getting around here, I don't think this does anything good for me. this. Uh, actually, if I do that, I can get you in there. Okay, we can be smarter about it. Not deal with all of the Wraithwing at the same time. Alright, I have to hit that again to open this. That's fine. Uh, that just means I can't use this once, so... I can get you two up here, though. Should be fine, right? Are you going to kill me? You are. Hmm. And I don't really want to do that. I've just released. I can... Do that, okay. Yeah, now you're all kind of on the same side, which isn't exactly what I wanted. I got... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not getting you guys to go where I want you, want you to here. Do I have any other options? You too. I mean, I can go up here. Oh, that's what this is for. Is so that I can get them all where I need them to be easily. Alright, well, I guess at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this.
How do I... Okay, I get around you that way. No, I still have to hit the orb. I can do that. Yeah, the reason I thought that might be safe is I'm close to both of these, and these are, I don't know. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know exactly how this works, but I can kind of fake it sometimes. Really, this is the, the problem with Wraithwing. You know, I... Get out of there. Without killing me. Trying to get No, go away. There we go. So now you're not you're not going where I want you to go. Okay, honestly, if I'm if I'm not missing like if I'm missing something, this might be okay. But I'm I'm not enjoying this room. I have to say, uh, with the thing that I'm trying to do here. So I could put you two down here, I guess. Could probably manage that, and then I could go all the way up here and get you. I don't know, stuck on this, but then it'll just come through this way. I need all five of you in this area, and I don't see any way I can actually accomplish that. Because there are multiple wraith wings, like there might be a clever way of doing this. Now because you're here, I'm gonna have trouble pushing them this way, aren't I? Yeah, and I need to. I might actually turn on unlimited undo for this room. Like, that's just... Ah. That's how terrible this is. I don't think I want to smash that and let you out this way. I don't see how that helps me. Okay, well, one thing I can do... Is with that force arrow, you can't move anywhere. So I could do this... To at least get you at a different angle. Yeah, and this this is my mechanism for So this is this is nice at least, since it means that turn order doesn't matter. Uh, I can't have you down there. Uh, you're all gonna come out now, but oh, 
Okay. Yeah, now I really don't want you down here. Can you... Remove yourself, please. Uh, preferably without both of you doing that. Yeah, but now... Yeah, now about you, you doing that. Okay, let's leave you in here for now, while we get this guy in a more sensible spot. Uh, do you want to come around this way? Not really. We'll try it. Alright, and then we'll do... This again. We get them all in there. Uh, we'll get you out while we're at it. There you go, thank you for being scared. But now this isn't going to work because this is not closed. Uh, okay, well that's fine, I can close it. Okay, so when I stopped trying to do random magic movement stuff, it actually worked out better. When I actually started doing tactics. Oh, come on. Get in there. And then I don't need this path after all. Kind of feel like this might not have been intended, but... efficient way of dealing with them, but it'll work. Alright. Well, let's keep going. Arrow rotators. What? An element I'm not a huge fan of, I must say. I liked force arrows before they could be rotated or disabled. Okay, eventually, eventually we get released, so this is just a mechanism that says because of the, the ore mites we can't get in here because we'll hit, the, we'll hit the bomb. This is saying you get to sit here and then you have to just wait for a really long time. Uh, what else is going on? We need somebody standing on that, specifically a roach because it can't be a, a wraith wing. Get out. And with those two together, we will be able to get out once we've gotten to here. Why do we want to get to here? Lock ourselves in, and we rotate twice, and this opens this. Okay, well, first thing to do, yeah, I knew that would kill the roaches, but I want to see what's the consequence for hitting these arrow rotators, and rather than think about it, uh, I am just going to do it that way. Hot tiles, so that I can't man. Hot tile, arrow, and token all in the same tile. Uh, I don't actually mind when stuff people do that. I know in modern architectural standards, we, we tend not to like putting tokens on arrows. It doesn't really bother me that much. But. So what's going to happen here is that in order for you to get into here. Right, so as it stands, I cannot ever get anybody out of this. Once I rotate the arrows twice... I can't, I can't wait. I have to keep going. Once I've rota rotated the arrows twice, I need 
Wraith Wings to be in such a position uh, that they'll come in this way. The Roaches, uh, because they'll have a path doing this, that's not an issue because they don't fly. So the Roaches will definitely end up in here. Was it three Roaches? If it was, then the Wraith Wings don't actually matter, right? Yeah, because I step out here, and then I just kill the Wraith Wings. Okay, so I've determined that the Wraith Wings don't actually matter for this part of the puzzle. All I have to do is keep three roaches alive. Now, in order to keep three roaches alive, I need them to be standing on these three uh, platforms. Which means I have to use Wraith Wing blocks. We keep the roaches in position. Okay, that's a neat, a neat little puzzle. Uh, I feel like this is going to be the easy one. Just chase the Wraithwing out. Now for these ones, we need... Hmm. We can't scare them that way. Oh, we can do that though. And then they do weird stuff. Hmm. If I go up here, do the roaches have faster movement order? No, but we're so close that it doesn't matter. Okay. Interesting. Well, we've got three Wraith Wings right here. That's what we want, isn't it? So if we come around this way... The Wraith Wings will take priority here. Okay, so now I just need to get one of these Wraith Wings past the Roaches. Uh, okay, which I might have done? No, let's not go that close. Yeah, I don't think I can chase that Wraith Wing up ever. So this isn't gonna work. If I do this... Oh, I kinda got that Wraith Wing up. But the problem with that is... Okay, there we go. Stupid Wraith Wings, stop being scared. This is worse than what we had before. Let's start this over. You have a little bit more space to work with on this side. Maybe we can get this to work better. All right, so here, we got one, two. 
Uh, no. No, what are you doing? Okay, can I... Get you onto the arrow like that. No, it's not gonna work. It seemed promising. I'm gonna try that again. It's just a wreath wing turn order issue now. So I want somebody on this arrow. Because then they can slide in this way and cut off the roach. Okay. So here. Okay. So yeah, it's just a turn order thing. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know that I had it in the right order there, but it just happened to work out. So that's nice. Uh, if I. Oh, you're approaching me. Why, why, why are you approaching me? Run away. Really, Wraithwing. Alright. And now the issue is... That we have four when we want three. Come on, everybody move over. There we go. Uh, Wraithwing is going to move first, isn't it? Yes. It's fine. There we go. Although, I'm now going to have the issue of them moving as I do this. Should have dropped all of those beforehand. I think I can set this up again. Okay, back up. There we go. And now I don't have to worry about the roaches moving. I can just push this into into place. Like that. And we escaped. Okay. Now I just need to... Kill all of you. Oh, there's... there's... Alright. So kind of some fiddly turn order stuff there. Uh, but it was an alright idea. Secret. Also, is there a scroll that I just didn't read? Uh, the bridge has to be dropped before the monsters can be let out of their enclosures, but all the roaches have to survive in order to fill up the pressure plate lock. Make sure the roaches stay on the platform squares using the Wraithwings to help out. Uh, I guess I figured that out on my own. Given how explicitly that spelled out what's going on, it almost makes me not want to um, read the scrolls before I attempt this. Uh, since that basically gave away the solution and then, well, it gave away the fun part of the solution. Then there's still the, the fiddly annoying part that you had to deal with yourself. Uh, okay, what's going on in this room? We have a Mimic here. We need the Mimic to step on this pressure plate uh, and then hit all of these orbs so that we can get through here. Uh, we're not getting through here. That's for Brain Wraithwing Flight. Okay. And why do we not just kill the Wraithwing? Uh, I'm guessing the answer to that is that when we step here, we're going to be stunned forever because we don't have a sword. So we need to be able to get to here and blow up the Ontlik. Okay, so the, the trick to this room... I'll crack broken wall there. It's a, I guess I can break it if I, if I go through here. 
but what I need to do is manipulate the brained wraith wing into here. Well, okay, escape. Escape with the. Escape with the mimic. Alright, assuming that we don't need the mimic for anything. What? If we open this... You are never... Never gonna go for me, but neither are you here. This is, this is, this is a weird mechanism. It just locks this, but opening this means the Wraithman can fly all the way around like this. But it's not going to see a path to me. Because of the force arrows. Now, if I'm standing right here, it will see a path to me here. But that's not where I want it to be going towards. I want it to be going towards this way. Uh, if we put it in here... care about that, but I'm going to smash it anyway. Just let me smash this. I might not have wanted to do these things. I probably didn't. Okay, I can't ever get in here myself. Right, you flee from me orthogonally now. So we can use the brain to find the path, the closest path to me, to get to five t tiles away. If I hadn't have broken that, yeah, you're always gonna have a path to me now because I broke this. If I didn't do that, do something like this. Right now, you're gonna run away from me. Keep running. Now you're going to try to come up here. Uh, or you can get stuck. Why would you do that? You have a path to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, is it because you're within five tiles of me, but you're trying to flee away from this square? Is that what just happened there? One, two, three, four, five. If we wait, yeah, you'll wait, but you're looking at this square. But if I approach you, you flee from that square because we're no longer five tiles apart. Interesting. I think that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, so I can kind of do that because now I can get you to flee from there. Okay, and now I can get you to flee. I see. I'm getting you to flee because you're within five of me. Ortho square prevents you, so you're going to flee south again. Now, if I want you to flee south... Well, you, you'll just flee south, won't you? Because that's what the brain path app is telling you to do. Here we have a different issue, because now... You want to move here, but you can't, so you're going to move here. So now, we need to debrain you, which we can't do because I've taken out this wall. Yeah, and then you're going to move there. Okay, 
cool. Uh, I like this room. Uh, if it's, if, assuming I've interpreted this correctly, I like what's going on here. There we go. Uh, let's just get you. Um, that's an issue, isn't it? Alright, let's get you down here. No, because you're gonna flee from me. You're gonna flee from me orthogonally, and I don't think there's any way I can I can change that. Uh well I can come in here and you're gonna flee. You're gonna approach me. Orthogonally. Okay. So that's why. That's why we want to cut this, because it messes with your... ...pathing. If I didn't have the Mimic in here yet, I could use it to hit these, like to hit this for example, to toggle my brain status to get this unbrained so that it approaches me. Alright. Yeah, just hit everything. That makes sense. There we go. doesn't help because you don't have a path all the way around to me this way hmm why did that work because I was standing far enough here and you were already down okay Save that. And now... We've got our Mimic in position, which means that we can seal that when we need to. You should be fleeing... Oh, to that square. How annoying. Okay, we need you to get through here. So to do that, we're gonna debrain you. From here, we can do this again. And now we shut off the brain path again to get you to move diagonally away from us. We don't want you brained again, because then you will slide that way. Now hopefully this makes sense what I'm doing here. So 
So I'm close enough now that you're just gonna keep going south to get to there. Okay. Is that all I had to do? Because if I click here now, what happens? You go that way. Just to be expected. And then you just sit there, because there's no path to me. Well... Right. Get the brain path map right. No, because we're going to do that now. So if I block this... Problem is, unbrained, you're also going to make that move. Is there any way to get you to do anything else? I can't step here yet. So I need you... Oh, I see what it is. Uh, unfortunately, with you down there, I don't think I can actually salvage this at this point. Um, I might be able to if I... Open the brain path. I do need this open because with this open and th this, yeah, I have to hit both of these. Uh, no, I don't I have to hit that. Okay. Unfortunately, this wraith wing is going to get all the way out. We've broken that. Put it back down here. And do this all again. So with this open, if I'm standing here and you have a path to me this way, it's the same trick. You'll be within five of me, so you'll be trying to run away from me. You'll see that this is the way you want to go. And so you'll move this way instead. I think that's what I'm seeing here. Wait until you're there, up here, and now, if I step here, sorry, if, if I step down, you're not brained, but as long as I wait here, you are brained, and so you're going to be trying to get to me, and being trying to get to me, uh, well, you're going to try to run away from me because I'm within five tiles of you, and then I do that, okay. Okay, that was really cool. Uh, again, we have some scrolls. Maybe they'll explain what was going on here. Uh, this room is optional because it's more difficult in comparison to all the other rooms on this level and deals with brain wraithwing movement. Here, the brain wraithwing must be guided down the correct path. The brain path maps through the room must be set up correctly so the wraithwing will move in the correct manner. Everything in the room has a purpose. Okay, not too spoilery, uh, but that was that was fine. Uh, I've decided, I, I think I'm just going to read them, I think it's fine. The Wraithwing here has got himself trapped in a mechanism that prevents Beethro from backtracking more than two diagonal moves. Okay. This additional constraint and the narrow space make the mimic tar cleaning puzzle at the right more difficult but still doable. Okay, so this is a case of, well, image stabs Roach. And why is this a tar cleaning puzzle? Because of the black gate. That would be a good reason. 
Mm. If we get all the way up to here, one, two, three, four, five, Wraithwing will be in range of the bomb, we can blow it up. This is opened by us standing here, which happens when... When what? There's a tunnel here. Can't get through. Uh, Mimic can activate these, potentially. Now here we have a, a tar stuff gate as well. This is this telling me... Well, I only get one tar baby through each of these. Alright, well... The most sensible thing to do, I suppose... ...is to start... Clearing some tar. That went poorly. That's already got me my two tar babies. I see. So if I go twice, then well, I've understood the um, the issue at least. Oh, all right. So we can do that to get the first one. From here, is this a better angle? a better way of dealing with this tar. Okay, what about from the top? Well, as was pointed out, I cannot... top gets me two tar babies. One each time. Okay. This one might be special because I can Say I can Ah uh, Interesting. Well the last one I don't have to worry about cleanup. Okay, that's good. I mean, okay, I, I do, but I can't get where I need to go. Now, what opens this? That does? Okay, so a couple of issues with what's going on here. You need to be at the top already, so that going diagonally you can get through here. And then you step there, which lets me through here. I killed the Wraithwing. And I have to have killed those on the way in. Okay. And then what's the point of these? Just to let me out this way, I guess. Okay. Okay, so this is a somewhat unpleasant tar room. Get them all from here. No. Get all but one. 
Okay. Maybe that's the best I can do. The problem is, I need... I need you to be over here, and then I think I just have to destroy these two quickly enough that the, the tar babies don't get out. Alright, well... So you, oh, I can do that, it's fine. gets us uh, that gives us a problem though because I still don't have a way of getting you where you need to be in a decent amount of time well I can do that, I guess, to shuffle you up. Um. Yeah, because the problem now is I have to do that to kill those. And then the Wraith is stuck. I guess that's what these tiles are for. They're warning me that... If an enemy gets there... It's a loss. Well, that was way too slow. And it's going to end up here anyway, even if I was fast enough. I guess that's not the way to do it. Well, we can kill those. Okay, there we go. No. It dropped too slow. Ah! That's not how you do it. You do it. How do you do this? By backing up, right? And then sliding. Kill. Problem here is if I do this, you're going to be in the way. I have to do that. And I think that's a loss because we had one get too far. Okay, this is some precise...
set of moves here. Well, I'm actually not in as big of a hurry as I thought because you're blocked on the tar. So I can actually just take my time there. And then do this. It's not possible for me. I'm trying to use this for leverage to get over far enough, but I can't can't quite do it. Well, if I do this, and then I can push again. Problem here is I can't I can't do that now. Man. I have to release you. You're really in a bad spot, you know? And I can't go... can't go down far enough to... Hmm. Do that? That's not gonna work either. No. Is this a lost state from here? I think I had a, I thought I had a decent solution for this, but apparently I don't. All right, so what if instead This is terrible. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So, we got you stuck. I'm approaching you from the top. We got you stuck up here. And we killed this, which was the big problem. So now, now I can just... You're still gonna get in the wrong spot though, and I, I didn't have a, a checkpoint there. Okay, what if I take out this one first? Hmm... This was going though. The problem here. Oh wait, I can't. I can't go back that far. That's the issue. Well, there's a couple of things wrong with this. that we get a second one up there as well. Okay, so this isn't actually working out as well as I was hoping. Oh, this went really long. Um, well, I guess we're finishing this. The problem with this is I've just made things really bad for myself. I can clear that. But now you're going to be an issue. Pretty much no matter what I do. Uh, 
because I have to take this tar blob out on the next turn. No, I don't. I could do this and then... Oh. Yeah, no, I do, because if I don't take it out now... And even if you go here... If you go here next turn, it's over. Yeah, so I'd have to do that. And then I can kill you, and I still have somebody... So I still have one person getting into a bad spot. Hmm. So I should be able to do that now. No, I can't. I can't back up that many. What? Actually sure how to how to do this. It has to be something like this. Like I'm pretty sure I had to get two in already because hmm. can I just clear all of these? Is that an option I have? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, no, one of them's going to get up. I do this. Even if I do that, I now have this issue. Okay. Well, how about... I get rid of you first. I can't even hit that checkpoint anymore. Uh, how do I even... How do I even get this at this point? Have I done something stupid here? Got myself stuck? No, I could do it like that. Uh, if this was cleared at this point, and I go north... Swing, you're here. Swing again, you're here. Swing again, you're here. No, that's that's not going to work. So, I mean, I can do that. Wait. Oh, I can't even... No, that's... That's not going to work. Hmm. Like by doing this, I can almost get this to work. But what if I wait a turn? No, I can't wait a turn here because I need to block you. No, that's not going to work. I just need to be able to move diagonally this way, which would actually put you into an arrow, so that's not going to work. But... And you're too, you're, too, you're too far to the north. So nope, 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 nope. It has to be a combination of moves with this, though, doesn't it? Like, I don't see how else... There we go. That'll do it. And then from here... Just a matter of finding that sequence. Uh, 
All right. And that does it. Well, that was much harder than this room. Well, this is unfortunate. Okay, it looks like we're going to have a single room uh, at the start of the next part, but I just don't have... This has gone on way too long as it is. Um, and this, this could take a while. It's probably going to be another 10 minute video though. So I guess I'll do two videos probably for the next, uh, next release after today. Um, so yeah, I will see you then.